Hello everyone, it's Ethan from the Orlando Tours and we're here today at Aquatica in Orlando and this is gonna be my first time here. So we'll give you our full review. Now I won't be able to film on rides because they don't allow that and I won't be filming on them but I will show you a tour around the park and I will give you my review for each ride. We're going into the park now. They do not require masks and reservations are not required but reservations are recommended. So we are going in right now through the metal detectors. So we'll show you guys how that works. And stay tuned. So this is the entrance of the park. And here's the tickets. So we just got in. This is behind the entrance. They got some waterfalls. A slide up there. <laughs> so you don't need a mask here. In most water parks, you don't need a mask anyways. But this is really neat over here. So we'll show you around. It's a dolphin plunge ride where you can see the dolphins. And you have a close up in the lazy river as well. Now we're going to show you how the lockers work because we're going to show you the prices of them and how to rent a locker. So there actually are two locker stations at Aquatica. So here's one of the stations. But this one's usually busier because it is in the front of the park. So we are going to head to the other locker station and show you that one instead. So right now, the park is not officially open yet. The park opens at 10.30 and closes at 5. And right now, it's still a little earlier than 10.30. So we're here early. And there's actually three locker stations in the park. There's two by the front and there's one in the back. We can't get to the one in the back yet because the park isn't open yet. But since the park just opened, there is a locker station at Ihu's Breakaway Falls. That's where we're going right now. So right now, this is Ihu Breakaway Falls. And right next to it, they have another locker station in the back of the park. This is the quietest locker station in the park, so I definitely recommend it. So it looks like a standard locker costs 20 bucks and a large one is 30. So if you come with a group, try to bring less items can, with you so you could split the locker price. So we're going to put our bags in the locker now, and that, yeah, we'll update that's, you that's later. Fits. So we just did every ride at Aquatica. It is now like 1.40, and we're going to go get a lunch break. We're going to go get some lunch at the Mango Market. There are actually six different restaurants here you can get lunch at, or just get food in general. I will give my ride review after, and I'll give you a tour around the park. You did go extremely fast. Who says that you should like So this is what they have on the menu here for the adult meal. Barbecue, pork sandwich, buffalo chicken fries, tenders, and foot long hot dog. And then they have a kids meal as well. And most of the restaurants have similar items. So just know that when you go to the restaurants. And they make it right here in front of you. Get the way for them to be available. That's what they have. That's what it looks like. The buffalo chicken fries right there. French fries. And they all come with fries as a side. The tenders and fries.
So we just had our food. Chicken tenders were around twelve dollars. You got like three or four, depending on the size of the chicken tenders. I got four in mine, and it comes with fries. So there's different options. It's pretty good. A lot of good seating for the food. So definitely worth it. The chicken tenders were pretty good. They also have pulled pork sandwiches, which are good as well. So definitely recommend the food. Um, the, the other food options, I didn't get to try, so I really don't know how they are. But those two are pretty good. And they do have the kids meal as well. So if you have the younger kids and they don't want to eat as much, they, I recommend the kids meal. So this is Ihu's Breakaway Falls, and there are four slides you could do here. They have a purple, blue, green, and orange. And the only one that's not a capsule drop slide is the purple one. All the other ones you drop out of a capsule straight down. But it, the whole slide isn't straight down though. The lockers are right next to it. And the purple slide is you push yourself and you go. The only thing is you really can't see anything on this ride because the water splash is really intense. So you have to close your eyes or just cover your eyes. But it's kind of fun though these. They're pretty good. I've done both a capsule drop and the purple one. And they're both very similar. So we just re-rode a lot of rides again. So now we're gonna give you the tour because the park already closed. So we're gonna walk around. And this is the Ihu's Breakaway Falls that I was showing you earlier. Now I did lose my voice, so it might be hard to hear me. The rides were really fun. So we're gonna actually go around the park now. So these are the lockers next to Ihu's. The restrooms are over here. Then we got a kitty splash pad. And this is at the very back of the park. So this is the whole kitty area. And if you're an adult, you actually can't do these rides over here. We're gonna keep going. So we're heading around. And since the park has closed, it's pretty empty here. This is called the Kookaburra Cove. And that's the kitty area again. Some slides. Now, adults can ride if they accompany with the children, but they can't ride by themselves. And I think some kids might be able to ride by themselves on those. <laughs> this is the Mango Market Restaurant. This is where we ate today. So this is the fast moving lazy river right here. There are actually two lazy rivers and this one does not require a vest, but it's really fast and it's really fun. So I definitely recommend it. And we have the mat slides over here. I'm gonna give you a tip. If you lift up on the mat, you do go faster and I recommend picking an outside slide. It's called the Tumata Racer. Really fun ride. It's right over there. And then right after you pass Tumata Racer, you have the walkabout waters. And these are the other kitty slides. But these over here, some of the nets are blocked off and the only slide open right now is the blue one. And that's because of COVID. So these are pretty cool over here. Fun for the kids and the whole family. And then over there is the mat slide and then the other slides over there. And I'm gonna show you those in a minute. And this is one of the other entrances to the fast moving lazy river. There are two entrances, a red and a blue entrance. And that is right across from the kitty area. And then as you pass about the walkabout waters, you have two slides over here. You have the Ray Rush, which opened recently. And then you have the Walhalla Wave. And they're connected, you just split on the stairs, so you go in the same line. Really fun rides. If you ride with four people on the, on the Walhalla Wave, you're gonna be holding on to the sides really tight because it flips a lot. And the Ray Rush is really cool. You got some cool lighting in there and really cool stuff to look at. So definitely a good slide to ride. That's over here, Ray Rush. And then right as you pass the Ray Rush in the Wahala Wave, you have more lockers over here and you have Riptide Race. That's a really cool ride. You race against your opponent. I recommend doing two per raft because you go a lot faster. And the red side felt pretty fast, but you could win on either side. And we have another eating venue over here. 
the Banana Beach cookout. It's a cool looking restaurant. And we are coming up towards the entrance now by going this way. Remember, we started in the back of the park. So on this park map, I'll show you where we are right now. Right here, Banana Beach. We came this way. So we started right there and we went around this way. And now we're there. So these are the fast rapids right in the middle, right across in the walkabout. And next we're gonna head toward the loggerhead lanes, Tassie Twister, and then the dolphin plunge as well. We'll show you that. So this is the loggerhead lane entrance for the Lazy River. But at the same time, that's how you get into Tassie's Twisters, which are these two slides, which are pretty much similar to each other. So you have to go in the entrance here and you have to go around in the pool in the lazy river to get onto the line for Tassie Twisters. And also Tassie Twisters lets you out back onto the lazy river. This is how you exit. Now this lazy river is the slower one and you must have a float, a raft. And you pass by a viewing area for the dolphins and dolphin plunge. And you also pass by a fish tank as well, which is a shortcut. This is the exit for Dolphin Plunge, and I'll show you the entrance in a minute. So we are headed by the entrance of the park, and I'm going to show you this on the way out real quick, because the Dolphin Plunge is on the way out, but I'm going to show you guys the other half of the park before I leave. So I'm going to show you guys that real quick, and on the way out, you get to see the Dolphin Plunge in the viewing spot. Now it looks like there's a path here that cuts through the park, and it leads right to Mango Market, but we did not use the path today. And you have a seating area, you can sit in the sand on some lounge chairs, and you do have a grill right here, and you can eat here as well. And we're heading up on another few slides, and I'll show you those in a minute. So these four slides over here are really fun, and you have to go to the very top level of the stairs to get to it. So the pink and yellow slides are the slowest ones, but the pink one's better than the yellow one in my opinion, because you get wet with like the sprayers at the top. Now the two blue ones are also mirrored from each other and those are really fun because they're really fast and those speed hills at the end you get some airtime. Now the dome looking things up top, those are two different rides. So the four here are called Wanu Way and the two there are called Omaka Raka. Now I like the lighter green one for Omaka Raka because you land up going backwards most of the time depending on your weight. And you could do one person or two on the Wanu Way but Omaka Raka is a single person slide. And they exit down here. So those are also really fun. And we got a lot of rides on these. This ride here, right after the Omaka Raka, is the Kare Kare Curl. And this one's a giant half pipe slide. This one's a blast. Now you do have to carry your raft up and it's really heavy, this one. So let's see if you can have a few people help you because this one will be heavy. And this slide is really fun. This one opened recently as well in the last few years. The newest slide that's open though is the Riptide Race, which opened this year. So those two, this one and the Ray Rush are also newer slides. And now we're coming up on the wave pools. There's two wave pools. Obviously since the park closed, the waves are not running right now. But this is wave pool one. And then we have the second one. The waves aren't that big. But if you want to hang out, I definitely recommend hanging out in, with the family in the wave pools as they could be really fun. And if you look right past the wave pool, that is the drop slide that we were at by the locker. So we've basically made a full loop around the park, but I'm actually going to turn back because the park is about to close and I don't want to spend so much time over here. So I'm going to have to leave soon. So we're going to go back and I'm going to show you the dolphin plunge and the dolphin viewing exhibit. So now we are heading back out towards the entrance. And the first lockers you come up to are right over here by the entrance, but those are always the busiest, so I definitely recommend the, recommend the back lockers, or even the ones by Riptide Race. And you get to Riptide Race by making a right once you enter the park, but if you go straight back, that's how you get to the lockers that we got at the beginning of the day. And we're going to head out, and we're going to show you the Dolphin Plunge viewing area, and then we're going to show you the Dolphin Plunge ride and how to get to it. And that's right over here in the way out. And they do have exclusive dolphin tours. So you can get really up close to the dolphins. There are a lot of people over here. And we're going to see if we can get a nice view. Uh, you 
can also view the dolphins from the lazy river. Some sharks down there, some fish. So we're not actually going to see the dolphins because they're actually in their away in their exhibit right now and they weren't coming out but I'll show you that's one of the viewing spots and there's another viewing spot right up the stairs now during park hours this bridge has a bunch of misters for your feet to keep them cool and that's one of the things I really like about Aquatica is they keep your feet cool by walking around but this is part of the dolphin plunge ride and they have clear sections here so you can see the dolphins as you pass so I recommend the darker blue slide because it's to the left and usually the dolphins stay on the left side of the tank and also if you wear a shirt on this ride like a rash guard you'll usually go slower on the slide so if you want speed don't wear a rash guard but it'll also slow you down so you can actually go slower during the clear part and see the dolphin there's the dolphin right there he was right there so he was just hiding from us then yeah there he is right there and they do have the part where they can hold them in there so they're trying to actually put them back in the cage area so this slide is a dark tube ride as well and it's very tight and the entrance is here right by the entrance of the park the entrance for the dolphin plunge and that's the dolphin plunge right there then right here is the loggerhead lane lazy river this is the slow one that you need to use a tube and right there is the viewing area in the lazy river to go see the dolphins and then as we head out and this is what the entrance looks like from the back and this concludes our visit to Aquatica today but I'll tell you some more once we get out of the gates so a few things about Aquatica that I did want to point out before I leave was it was a really fun time. A lot of family slides, a lot of individual tube slides. You got the sprayers around the park to keep you cool. There's a lot of sand around the park because there's a big sandy area with all the chairs, so your sand will get in your shoes. But the drop off is also free. So if you come here and you don't want to pay for parking and you have someone to drop you off, I definitely recommend that. Parking is 25 bucks, but this is the parking lot. So yeah, anyways, that's gonna do it for us today. Our first visit to Aquatica. Had a great time. I'll have to come back another time. But definitely stay tuned. We're gonna go to Universal later this weekend to ride Velocicoaster. So anyway, stay tuned.